guys welcome back to my channel or if you're new welcome my name is Monica and today I'm doing a comparison between the ABH soft glam palette and the newest palette that has come out from bad habit which is the arabesque palette which is supposed to be a perfect dupe for this ABH palette for this video I do swatches of both palettes I go ahead and do some swatches side by side to show you the colors that look the best and some that don't look as great I also do one full look just with this palette so you can see the quality see how it works on my eyes and then I do this look right here where I used one palette on each eye so before we jump into the video first Guess which palette I have on each eye. Let me know down below. Don't cheat because you'll find out during look number two. And then while you're down there, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you're notified whenever I post a new video. So for this video, we're first going to jump into all of these swatches. I did swatch each palette entirely on its own and then I swatched some shades side by side. So we're going to jump into these swatches first and then into both of the looks that I created with these palettes. And then I'm going to give you my full overview of this palette. And if I think this is a dupe, for ABH or if I think it's a total dud.
So those were the swatches. As you can see, the closest that Bad Habit gets are with their shimmers. I know a lot of their shimmers looked very similar, but then when it came to the mattes, there were some subtle differences, especially with like undertones that did, they didn't quite hit right on the head. But overall, you are getting very similar color stories here. It just unfortunately this is a matte heavy palette and I do think that Bad Habit struggles with their mattes. You can go ahead and see more of that in the demo so let's go ahead and jump into look number one with just the Bad Habit palette. As you can see the palette by itself it does perform pretty well it's not my absolute favorite bad habit palette but it's not the worst on its own it did pretty well I was not really impressed but I was satisfied with the outcome and with how everything worked out it wasn't until I directly compared it to the soft glam that I started to see you know some things that weren't the best so let's go ahead and jump into the look that I did with both of the palettes head-to-head -head. So for this look, I'm going to be using the Bad Habit palette on one eye and I'll be using the Soft Glam on the other. So I'm going to use the Bad Habit on my left eye and I'm going to go in with the Soft Glam on my right eye. I'm going to keep my color switch nearby and just in between each shade in each palette, I'm just going to go through here so I know I'm not mixing any of the colors on either of my eyes. I could use different brushes, but I feel like I would definitely mix up the brushes and this just seems like a more foolproof way of making sure that I don't get like mixtures between the shadows or anything.
right guys so that was the look with one palette on each eye i have the bad habit one again on my left eye with the abh on my right eye now just a couple of notes that i didn't notice until i was using both palettes at the same time there's a lot more fallout with the bad habit palette but it's the kind of fallout that stains a little bit so i couldn't even like really brush it away on this side so i just kind of have like a little patch down here from that fallout which that's a little bit disappointing. Um, I would recommend if you are going to use this Bad Habit palette, definitely, definitely do your eyes first. And then another little thing that I noticed is that the mattes 100% blend better, of course, from the ABH palette. If you missed my last Bad Habit video, you can go ahead and check that out. I talk about how the mattes from Bad Habit aren't really that great, but that their shimmers are phenomenal. And I did notice that whenever you use their shimmers side by side, like they look spot on. On. they last really well they look phenomenal but whenever you're comparing the blendability of the shades that's when you're going to see the biggest difference in these two palettes the bad habit palette by itself it's not a bad palette it really isn't you get a lot of pigment it just it's not as easy to blend out as the ABH formula so if you don't have the ABH palette, if you're not looking to get the ABH palette, if it's not within your means, I think if you're looking for a similar color story, this could work for you. I would really only recommend this though if you were dead set on like these exact shades. Because if you're just looking for a good, neutral, affordable palette, I think there are better options out there that blend a lot better. Because this one, the mattes, don't necessarily blend as well as I would like them to because I know that there are other options from the drugstore around this price point that work out a lot better. Again, speaking of the price point, Bad Habit did raise the price of this palette in comparison to their other palettes. I believe this one full price is $16. I bought it the day it came out and I actually had a lot of hush points saved up. If you don't know what hush points are, basically every day you can log into the app and click a little log in daily bonus and you get 10 points or 10 cents of credit. If you do this every day, you can save up a couple of dollars. I saved up $7.80, so I didn't have to pay that much. I ended up paying only about $8 for the palette itself. I think it's worth $8. Do I think this is worth $16? No. No, I would not pay full price for this, especially if you're buying off their website. I don't know if it's available on the website. They do like to make a lot of things exclusive to their app, but if you use their app, you get free shipping. Overall, I don't think this is a horrible palette, but I wouldn't recommend it as a dupe for this palette, as close as they were trying to get it. I would just recommend this as like a middle of the road neutral palette, especially at that price point. Harking back to my last Bad Habit video, I really think that if this had been more of a shimmer based palette, this would have worked out better. Bad Habit still struggles with their mattes. They're not as creamy. They are as soft as the ABH palette. I will notice that you did get a lot of kick up. Whenever you tap your brush in, it is it does feel as soft as an ABH palette. So I think they're trying to work on the formula. I think they're really trying to work on their dupes. They're just not quite there yet. So those are my final thoughts. If you're really, really dead set on getting the exact look of the soft glam, but you don't want to spend $42 for it, the Bad Habit is an okay option. But if you're just looking for an affordable drugstore neutral palette, there are a lot of better options out there. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I hope I'll see you in my next video. Bye.